Hey, good morning, gasaholics. I'm Hot Rod Bob, and you've got gas. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back, been on the road, been working, got back here. And the first thing I read about this morning is the state of California and Washington are banning the Super Sport Camaro and the ZL1. All right, now when you think about that, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The car's too fast. Uh, the car's unsafe. Uh, the car pollutes badly out of the exhaust pipes. Uh, nope, not it. What do you think it is? Well, if you've read the article, it's been posted a number of places. It's the brake pads. Now, believe it or else, the brake pads contain copper. You know, just like in your plumbing, just like in those bands people wear and rings they wear that are supposedly supposed to ease arthritis? Well, enthusiasts in California and Washington should act fast. If you want an SS or a ZL1 Camaro, get it now. Now, I'm not saying order it now because you haven't got enough time to get it. Any car that is on the lot at the dealerships right now is fair game. After January, you will not be able to get an SS Camaro or the ZL1 in the state of California or Washington because the brake pads have too much copper in them. <sighs> you say, what? Just like me. I said the same thing. Well, California's Department of Toxic Substances, the DTSC, stepped up its effort to regulate brake pads in 2010 when then-Governor Arnie uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger signed a bill called the California Motor Vehicle Brake Friction Material Law. <sighs> it prohibits car makers and suppliers from selling brake pads containing more than trace amounts of copper. Certain heavy metals and asbestos as well. Well, I can understand some of the heavy metals, although copper is considered a heavy metal. And the asbestos part, the asbestos should have been gone years ago. Now, pads containing heavy metals and asbestos were banned in 2014. So why is this an issue now? Six, seven years later? All of a sudden, Chevrolet, bing, has forgotten about the law that was passed in 2010, and again, another ban in 2014 on brake pads containing more than 5% copper? Hmm. Well, the 5% copper part goes into effect January 21st, uh, 2021. But where the heck were the guys at Chevrolet? Good morning, Ken Warner. How you doing? And Michael Sereno. Good morning to you, guys. So what is going on? Well, lawmakers have explained the copper is, a toxic, is toxic to many aquatic organisms. When was the last time you had your Camaros swimming in the ocean or in a lake? Anyway, while trout don't snack on high-performance brake pads, the dust generated from braking, and you see that on the wheels of your car before you wash it, you know, they get that black, cruddy stuff on the outside. That's the brake dust. Well, the brake dust is washing into lakes and the ocean when it rains. How much, I'm not quite sure, and they're not really saying, but... They're basically stating that this amount of car of copper that's coming out of the brake pads can create a problem for aquatic animals and human beings. The copper is bad for humans in high levels. And that's another issue. We'll get into that in just a moment. Only the high-powered SS and the ZL1 Camaros are the ones affected by this ban because something about their performance brakes required the use of copper so they didn't fade, and they possibly lasted a little bit longer. Good morning, Neil and Al Theodore. Now, California and Washington are the only ones so far to step up and make this a problem. And while dealers legally need to stop taking orders, whatever's on their inventory, in their inventory right now can be sold because it's before January 1st. Now, looking ahead, Chevrolet does plan to reintroduce the SS and the ZL1 in California and Washington in 2022. Really? It's going to take them a year to come up with a brake pad 
that doesn't have copper in it or a lowest a lower level of copper really give me a break guys how difficult is it to change the material in a brake pad okay so you stop a little bit slower you go 110 feet from 0 to 60 instead of 105 come on it's a brake pad this isn't rocket science. The resume allowing customers in California and Washington to start ordering Camaro SSs and ZL1s and the 1LE model now in 2022. They'll introduce a new brake system that is compliant with the copper requirements. Why wasn't it before? Guys at General Motors, grab your ears and pull hard. Get your head out of your... you got cranial rectum disease, guys. This is a law that's been out for a long time, and you failed to recognize it? You're on top of everything else, and you forget about the brake pads? Well, brake pads aren't the only source of pollutants that are causing harm to marine organisms. Got to be careful of those marine organisms. According to scientists, a chemical called 6-PPD that's used in tires carries into the rivers in by the rain and is responsible for killing the coho salmons along the Pacific coast. Hmm? First time I heard of that one. In 2019, researchers measured microparticles and microplastics in stormwater from 12 small areas around San Francisco. They noticed nearly half of them were black with a rubbery texture. One potential source of the particles is vehicle tires. Now, that's only one potential source. This uh, 6PPD is used in many, many products, not just tires. If anything is plastic or rubber, it's got it. Hi, Fred. How are you? All is great. Bill Snyder as well is watching us and Trent Stevens. Now, unlike environmentalists, which is kind of surprising, Major players in the tire industry stress that these particles present have no significant risk to humans and the environment. Imagine that. A company saying their product doesn't harm. Hmm. But lawmakers are still considering to launch laws against the tire manufacturers to make them stop using this product that helps tires and other plastic and rubber products from oxidizing. It's an antioxidant. Now, California and Washington's ban on the SS and ZL1 Camaro originally appeared in an auto blog on Wednesday, December 9th. Uh, and that's where I've gotten some of this information. Now, the 6PPD, and, well, let's go back to copper. Copper is possibly unsafe, according to numerous sites, by mouth, in large amounts now, adults should consume no more than 10 milligrams of copper per day. Kidney failure and death can occur with as little as one gram of copper sulfate. Symptoms of copper overdose includes nausea, vomiting, bloody diarrhea, fever, stomach pain, low blood pressure, anemia, and heart problems. Sounds like COVID. <clears throat> anyway, let's not get on to that. Don Gady here. Maybe we should do a go back to wooden wheels and yeah, and use pine for brake pads. That'll work, won't it? I mean, the sweet smell of pine in the air as you come to a stop? Why not? All right, so this is what the experts are saying. Now, let's think about that for a second. Is the plumbing industry regulated? Last time I checked, when someone replumbs a house, they're taking out the lead pipe, which is hazardous to your health, and putting in copper pipe. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the plumbing industry hasn't been hit with this yet, but the auto industry has. Will the Camaro come back in 2021 with new brake pads? And why haven't they changed them already? This is a problem for General Motors and maybe other manufacturers that are using a high, more than 5%, copper content in their brake pads. Now, think about that. These are high-performance brake pads in cars like the Camaro. What about the Corvette? What about the Mustang GTs? The Shelby GTs? What about all the high-performance cars? 
Is Chevrolet alone in using copper in brake pads? I don't know. Maybe someone can tell us. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas. The morning edition brought to you by Service Tech Equipment. Service Tech still operating, still helping you with your service equipment needs. They're here during the pandemic to help auto shops, mechanics, and others with their service equipment. Whether they're broken or not, they'll fix them. No, wait a minute. That didn't make sense. <laughs> if you need service equipment and yours is broken, they're the guys to help you. Now, Rebecca Nunez is asking, what about the aftermarket? Well, the aftermarket should have known about this as well, and their brake pads should have removed more than 5% copper as well. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. Did you ever see the uh, contents of a brake pad listed on the box? I haven't. Do I know brake pads are made out of asbestos? They had been. That's been banned for quite some time. Did I know copper was in there? Well, I kind of saw these shiny flecks in there, but didn't think much of it, and never thought copper was that big an issue. Now, they're also saying that copper on cooking utensils, like pans and such, well, you don't want to cook tomatoes in them, because the tomato acid etches and takes away that copper and adds it to the food. Have we banned copper-coated utensils? Not that I'm aware of. Yes, and uh, like Bill Schneider is saying, get rid of those copper-infused knee supports. All right, I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas. The morning edition, the great American auto scene. Since 1990, your award-winning automotive show that gives you information, trivia, and some humor occasionally mixed in. You have a great day. I'm Hot Rod Bob. Take care. Remember, you've got gas. And if you've been watching us, you are a gasaholic. Thanks for tuning in.